making it right and wanting to make it right. There's situations that cost us five thousand dollars that shouldn't cost us, or we're fixing right. a mistake. And where it hurts maybe, really bad. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but we've always we've never not done that and you have to do that. Right. Day in and day out. What's my biggest weakness? <laughs> I have some some videos of some tough situations <laughs> <laughs> that I'm about making a video on. Out here at this uh, attorney's office, BGS. Just closed on my first property. Me and the boss lady here. So good to be rid of it, or do you wish you still had it? Uh, kind of bittersweet. Okay. This property we, ever, we both ever bought. That was uh, what two three years ago? May 2020. Right, a four year anniversary was like June of last year, right? Mm -hmm. I want to make like a like a video on what things we've learned in the last four years? Almost five. And now going on five, four and a half. Like, uh, what's a few things that we've learned over the years now buying a few properties, having, let's say, an average of twenty-five employees growing from scratch to that? Like a few hard lessons we've learned along the way. <laughs> My side of everything is together, but the financial side of everything, having super good partnerships with your accountant and, and bank we had really, really high highs and really low lows. It's like, what do we do when we have 100,000 in bills due this week and 20 grand in the bank? <laughs> How do we get through that? <laughs> <laughs> we look at the problem, figure out what we need to do to fix the problem, and get out there and do it. Mm -hmm. Definitely makes it easier having each other. We can call each other and work for the problem together instead of just one of us working through the issue. We've, uh, we've definitely gotten some situations where it's like hard to get out of but then after the fact, you're kind of almost glad you went through them because then now you learn how to avoid that going forward. Definitely, I would. I don't like wish that none of those situations happened because it makes us stronger and makes make sure it doesn't ever right. happen again. It's always hard while it happens, but then afterward, you're you're almost like glad it glad it did. Is there anything people always say? If you had to do it all over again, what would you do different? I don't think anything. You have to spend money to make money. Definitely. We've done that mm -hmm. <laughs> well enough. Yep. Um, like no risk, no reward. If you never take on a big risk, you're never gonna get a big reward. Or it's gonna take a lifetime to get there. Little to no risk. Is there anything else that you'd rather uh, be doing? Nothing. Nothing? I can't is, think of anything. Is it, ha has there ever been a day <laughs> thought about like, actually just quitting, like giving in and going to work for someone else? Like actually like, actually considered it? No. Sometimes I wish somebody else, it was somebody else's problem, but then I'm like, well, n not really. Somebody asked me the other day like, oh, when you go home, you're probably thinking about things, huh? And I'm like, yep, I've been thinking about things for five years straight. I think both of us <laughs> were texting each other all evening things that we're thinking about or that we want to do or that we want to change. Mm -hmm. Or It's a constant, it's rewarding, it's difficult, but it's definitely rewarding. I, wouldn't, I don't think either of us will ever be able to work for somebody ever again. No, I don't think so. We work with each other, but <laughs> it's, it'd be hard to do anything else. Yeah, definitely. I think uh, a, a huge key to our success is her being the backside and me being the front and having that two parts because a lot of people they start out they don't have that and they don't get very far or it's just a crapshoot because they, they, they don't take care of both parts I think that's been that's been huge we're willing to do whatever it takes and we, we've hit a lot of brick walls we've been like we've been in some tough situations which I haven't showed a bunch of but a video on but I feel like we've been in some tough spots but we've yet to be in a spot where we they didn't know a way out of like, or I didn't figure it out within the next day. Or, right, or we didn't figure out how to get out of it with it costing us a bunch of money, but we still made it out. But like, we've we've been in a lot of tough spots, and but we've always been able to figure, figure out a way to get out and then avoid getting back into that is the, the main thing. People part is definitely one of the hardest parts, but I think we've, I think that's one of our strong suits is is we're able to to find good people and retain them nowadays. That's that's key. If someone was starting out a company like from scratch. What would you like? What would you say to them? Like like of like any tips or pointers or things to do or not to do? One of things that we always go back to is we always make it right no matter what. Yeah, no matter how much money it costs at the end of the day, you have to make it right. And not that, oh, I'm just gonna fix this just so somebody doesn't feel bad or somebody doesn't hear about it, but that we wanna make it right. I think right. that's the difference of making it right and wanting to make it right. There's situations that cost us five thousand dollars that shouldn't cost us or we're fixing right. a mistake. And where it hurts maybe. really bad. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but we've always like we've never not done that and you have to do that right day in and day out because uh, yeah your reputation is in a small world like, but in, a, a genuine small reputation not yep. just uh trying to look like i'm the best but actually being the best exactly yep 
big difference there by looking like you have it all put together and actually having it put together. So. I'm not saying we don't have it put together whatsoever, but if you're put into a situation and you have to do everything you can to make that situation situation right mm -hmm. with the customer. Or with, with the customer or the employee. You had to say one of your weaknesses. What do you think one of your weaknesses is? Talking to people that I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> In person? In person. Right, over email, you're great. You're so much better at sending an email than I am, but... It, I don't know. It's something I'm definitely working on. Like it's in one of my goals for the year is to be more outgoing and to be more confident within myself outside. And I am confident in what I'm doing. I just around other people. I've worked from home by myself for three years, mm -hmm. three, four years. So you're very secluded, I guess yep. you could say. Yep. Um, so definitely one of my weaknesses, but to be honest, I don't really have to be super outgoing with everybody because you take that on and yep. we balance each other back and forth. That's why it works so good. What's my biggest weakness? <laughs> um, probably responding to an email. <laughs> <laughs> I hate answering emails. <laughs> if, uh, if you email me and I reply, um, You then... do respond to my emails. But... Well, I was, yours are easy, but like if a random person emails me about something, you I'll, I'll just be like, I'll, just, or I'll, yeah, I'll forward to her to answer, or I'll be like, call me, you'll make it easier. <laughs> Or if it's not really important, I just don't reply. So if you want to get a hold of me, don't email me. Yeah. <laughs> but, but yeah. All, I mean, a lot of our strengths and weaknesses, I mean, they do complement each other. They do. Very well. Yep. Where it kind of works out that just happens to work out well that way. But I wouldn't change it for the world. No. Um, it's a lot of fun. We've still got, still got a lot of hopes and dreams of where we want to go. But it's been a, quite the journey thus far. But what do you think is probably the, the most <laughs> difficult situation you've been in that you <laughs> didn't know how to get out of like since we started? Like, if you think back, like, what was, like, one of the most hard, hardest things? I feel like we, we go at it every day with, like, the attitude of, like, whatever it is, whatever comes up, we're going to figure it out. And that's kind of how it's always been. But, like, there's definitely been situations, like, hmm, I really uh, wish I wasn't in this spot right now, but we are, <laughs> so we got to figure out a way out of it. Yeah. Uh, me, on the money side of things, mm -hmm. the ebbs and flows with money or any small business, not for a medium business now, Whatever um, size we are. Whatever size business we are, whatever week it is. Just the ebbs and flows of the money. I would say when we purchased our building that we purchased, we didn't luck out, but there was a situation with the, you know, getting the right funds in the right spot to close right. on the property wall because we didn't sell our current property or our first property. Mm -hmm. We moved in, we bought the second property and moved in, and now we moved in there in October, and now we're just selling the property in right. March. And, and isn't a lot of, like... Something like sometimes, like I said, we'll have a hundred thousand, one hundred fifty thousand in bills due this week, and only twenty grand in the bank. And a lot of that is we've done a ton of work. We have a ton of money out, and none is coming back in. Isn't that like a big part of it? Of like yeah. we're owed four hundred thousand in work that we've done that we've paid for, but we haven't been paid. So doesn't that isn't that where I think it gets stressful? Where you don't necessarily have all the money to pay the bills right now, even though the bills are due. This day, in the grand scheme of everything you do. But if you were to get paid up for everything that that you're owed, yeah, you know, then you're then you're you're good. Yeah, and I think we all, that's every business is like a lot of businesses in our size. That's a struggle. Yeah, and then like have. we're working on like building like a good like base savings, so we always have money stored away, you know, for a rainy day or when you really need it. But that's not as of now. It's not as big as we you know right. like it to be. Well, in that you don't have that in your operating account, so right. you may have hundred thousand, two hundred thousand dollars, but it's not in your operating account. It's not to be spent on those bills that you owe this week. So. Right? Isn't that isn't that as we've grown, that's been like a bigger and bigger challenge because the bills are getting bigger. Right, and you're doing bigger jobs, and you're yeah. working for different customers. It's not. You're financing, financing a lot bigger projects. <laughs> right, you're financing other people's projects where yep. it's not. A five thousand dollar rock job, and they're paying you every day. It's a hundred thousand dollar lakeshore restoration that the permit has to be closed out, and that's two weeks after the job's done, and mm -hmm. you're not getting paid till you know. And you've already paid for everything to get the job done. The labor is right away. The material you maybe got thirty days. Yeah. The equipment, you know, yeah. loans. So. I think that's something that a lot of businesses don't talk about at mm -hmm. all, and that's I mean, that's our daily conversation is about that. Yep. And that's a good majority of my day is balancing mm -hmm. all of that. And right. It's a balancing act. Keeping up on our billing, where everything's being billed, basically the same day it's done, so there's no issues in getting paid, making it easy for customers to pay you, mm -hmm. not making it difficult. Right. That definitely helps. You got to be seamless. It's got to be. You got to make it seamless for people to spend money with you. Yep. That's uh, that's huge. That's to getting paid and making expectations up front. We never have a problem of getting paid. We always get paid every time. It's just a matter of sometimes it's 30, 40 days later. Occasionally some someone's being a stinker and it's 
60 days. Yeah. <laughs> not often, but or it's a government occasion. job or yep. a job for a GC and you're not getting paid. Yeah, yep. 60, 70, but 80 days. That's where it comes in too. You have residential and commercial. Residential get paid right away. That helps finance the commercial stuff until you get paid on that. But I'm gonna make this video for a while. I just thought some people might find it interesting. Just a few things. I mean, we could chat about this for three hours straight, but that's just kind of like a brief of some things we've learned from growing a company from scratch to say average 25 employees doing uh, landscaping, excavating, storm removal. So I think it's gonna be a good year. We got a decent amount of work lined up, but we're still looking for plenty more. So if you got a project near Central Minnesota, reach out. How long have we been working on a new website? We got a new website coming out soon. Since been, November, I think. Yeah, been working on a new website since November. A lot of time and effort into that. So I'll put a link to that as soon as it's out in the next couple of weeks. That's gonna be good. We got a couple things on there that no other website has. Uh, so that's gonna be cool. So stay tuned for that. And uh, yeah, that's all we got for you guys today in this video. What do I usually end it with? In order to get results, no one else is getting. You gotta be willing to do things no one else is doing. There you go. All right, <laughs> see you guys in the next one.